So Viking finds of socks have been found like this, is that true? Yes, null binded socks. They're not knitted, it's null binding where it's done with a single needle. Right. This is a, this is a, a bone needle mm -hmm. and I uh, don't know if you can see. Right, so you stitch around the yeah. edge, well, round suppose, and round and if, keep if, going. If you, start, you start at the top, so you can see there's a spiral there. Yep. So you start and you're adding on and adding on and adding on until you get the sock, the sock toe to the size that you want it. And then yes. you just keep going in a tube. So you're going through the last one of the previous row. Yep. And then you're going up through the last two stitches you just made. Oops. Excuse me. And you just keep repeating that until it's big enough. All right. And if you get a snapped thread in the middle of it, can it all unravel horribly? No, it doesn't unravel like knitting does. So I get to this point here, and that's nearly finished now. That is the toe. And mm -hmm. I start again, and I make another cup there for the heel. Mm -hmm. And I sew it on there. And then I just pick up the stitches and make another tube going upwards. And that's how they made their socks. Thank you. <laughs> This is drop spinning, um, using a spindle wall to put the twist into the wool and then you feed the wool between your fingers to make the thread. Yeah. This right. technique was used uh, certainly since uh, Neolithic times, spindle walls have been found in Stone Age caves and was commonplace method of producing uh, wool and thread through to about the 12th, 13th century when the spinning wheels started to uh, be introduced from the east across into Western Europe. Uh, the big disadvantage of drop spinning is this, you have to keep stopping and winding the wool onto the bobbin, onto the spindle, um, and then start the spin again, whereas with the spinning wheel, you're spinning all the time and, and feeding directly onto the bobbin as part of the uh, motion. The advantage of the drop spindle is it's a lot more portable, you can take it anywhere and just pick it up and start work, whereas you have to physically make time to sit down with a spinning wheel. So there's a strong argument that when you're doing this as part of your daily um, chores, that it's actually easier to work with a drop spindle because you can just pull it out of your belt and spin while you're just stopping for a minute to talk to people, or you're watching something on the fire. Uh, whereas with a spinning wheel you have to stop all other activities. All right. Thank you very much. My pleasure. So here we have a pump drill in action. The man is moving the stick up and down. And you can see at the bottom there is a little drill bit. It's going round and round. The drill bit goes round one way for a bit and then round the other. But you get work done in both directions. And it's a very efficient little machine. Thank yes. you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>